r slash askman. Alter Reality says. People say women live longer than men, so I'm curious, what is your I almost died story? Kamishwa1 says. I was on a church roof when it started raining. So I picked up my tools and ran to the scaffolding to climb down. I slipped a little, then my toe of my boot hit the corrugated copper roof ridge. I fell and started sliding down the side to a 120 foot drop. My elbow caught in the gutter and stopped me before going all of the way off. Crusty Stale Pale Male says. One often meets his destiny on the road he takes to avoid it. Don underscore pardon says. R slash unexpected kung fu panda reddit, Rofly had no idea that sub actually existed. Sidicus says. Hauling damn near 80,000 pounds on a steep downhill and this woman with kids in her vehicle pulling a mini trailer holding 4 or 5 bicycles cuts me off, while we are going 70 miles per hour. Damn near lit my tires on fire making room. If she'd have blown a tire we'd all be dead. SP33 Dling says. As a truck driver. You mean that was a normal Tuesday? Everyone needs to get in front of the truck, even if they are going plenty fast. Never understood it. Life underscore is underscore trippy says. I had covid, dual pneumonia, oxygen dropped down to 91% before I took a turn for the better. Nottle Burton says. Well on the bright side, 91 is the lowest acceptable number, most adults. It's only problematic once it goes below that. But OFC overall that sounds shitty. Thesis Minerdi account says. More to skipping off the tarmac like 15 feet from me and not exploding. Motorcycle ride. 80 miles per hour, with the flow of traffic. Some guy crossed three lanes and almost ran me over forcing me into the concrete median. Some dickhead muzzle flashed me with a loaded gun and no trigger discipline. He was promptly removed from the range. Military time. Bullets thrown into a bonfire going off, heard one whiz right by me. Jesus Trump's thoughts says. Too long of a story on how this happened, but I ended up in the middle of nowhere in Pennsylvania, don't live there. No phone, just $20, that a stranger kindly gave me, had just turned 18 a month prior. Events led me to get into a car with a former meth head who was rehabilitated. About 10 minutes, after he said this, he admitted that he was currently on meth behind the wheel, and said he even had some more in the coffee he was about to drink. He laughed hysterically after this. We then proceeded to pick up his meth head friend, she barely had any teeth. My gut was telling me to get TF out of that car, but he was offering me shelter and work at his tree company, the company was legit as I found out in the future. Also, he was wearing his company's shirt, and I had nothing. My GF at the time, was away at college, my parents wouldn't pick me up for reasons, and I didn't know any of my friends phone numbers by memory. We were on our way to his house, but he had to stop somewhere and get something. The woman waited in the car with me. We started talking, she let me smoke one of his cigs, and she then said to me, he's a good guy, but please, just don't cross him. Frick. I thought about what she said, how she said it, wondered why he's willing to do this for some random. r slash askman. Adger underscore Amirez says. Guys that wear suits for a living. How many do you own? E140 driver says. Just one, company provided, with a hat as well. Gutty until PRVN Inkd says. In a corporate world, you should have at least 3 to 4 different suits. Just to be on the safe side, I have 5. Mr. Magic 2000 says. I want that job, being paid just to wear a suit. Too much TXN says. I have 12 suits, 4x2 button, 6x3 button and 2x double breasted, 5 blazers and 1 tux. But that's accumulated over an 8 year period. All are periodically in rotation though. r slash askman. Dreaming Gunnister 1 says. 
How do you combat self-sabotage and self-destruction? Mr. Elon Poster says. Diet and gym. Do 966 says. I embrace it. Bringing myself to rock bottom, and then building things back up is part of the fun in life. Plain old Asernama here says. Use it as fuel to improve yourself. Wit Dog 214 says. Actively counter the negative in a dialogue. When you hear that in a voice saying bad things about yourself, deny them, refuse them, argue against them, and think about the positive instead. Simple things, I am okay, I am not ugly, whatever the case may be. Allowing the self-sabotaging inner thoughts to continue, is like standing under a gasoline drip, and and wondering, why the fire doesn't go out. It can be a long process but it helps. r slash askman Rai Weifu says What finally made you realize you weren't ready to be in a relationship? Decider of all things says I just don't like socializing every day. I want solitude 90% of the time and our culture treats relationships like it's a 24 over 7 activity. I just don't have that in me. 1 underscore holiday 967 says Missing the endless possibilities s. In a relationship, you are kinda fixed to a partner and even places to move, to travel, jobs are all taking into consideration with your partner. Lots of cream about the idea of a long term relationship, but they don't value what they could do until that door potentially closes. Motivation Gorner Warong says. This post. Little Jabin says. My next relationship will mayo. Bastian72 says. I was in one at the time, but it was too soon after the divorce. I still feel bad for the person I was dating for not seeing the warning signs. Usana Mesafi says. The fact that I was bad at it eventually sunk in. R slash Askman. Treehumper99 says. What are ways you can be unforgettable as a man? Not romantically but just in general. For example, we all know people that leave a positive impact and leave an unforgettable impression on others. It doesn't even have to be on a large scale either, it can be in the tiniest town or the smallest community in the middle of nowhere. How can you be unforgettable as a person? Call underscore of underscore call who says. Invade Poland. Bastion 1 says. Be the guy who always smells like B.O. Everyone remembers that guy. Bonus points if you have bad breath, and are a close talker. Nold shit says. Teach someone how to fix something. Emperor Helix says. Be the highest value man you can be, for when it's over, she'll never forget you, and always compare her current so with you. Doofus Doomed says. Authenticity. And confidence. Tinker Balsack says. Random cartwheels. R slash Askman. The price of anarchy says. What do you admire about your significant other? I've been reflecting on my relationship with my GF and came to the realization that I don't actually admire many of her qualities as much as I'd want. Maybe I'm just lost so would like to hear what about the experiences of others. Warping Time says. That she's basically like She-Hulk and Xena Warrior Princess fused together. Porsche Labiatus says. She's tough and determined. VTX1800F says. Her compassion, work ethic, and undying love for me. Gaslighter says. Her style. Gladiator underscore Brit says. How responsible and focused she is with everything she puts effort in. Usana Mesafi says. I admire that they don't exist. Makes things very simple. Can I go on a two hour run later? Sweet. Persian underscore Hunter says. Won her ability to see logic and apologize even in the heat of most emotional fights. We were fighting she was in rage and insulted me. 
After 5 seconds she apologized middle fight about the insults. And most of our fights, not many, if I say something logical she accepts. 2 she is wise, and have a great my mind. Nold shit says. Her bra size. That's all for this video. Was it good? I know not for I'm a robot. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. This video is the product of an automated process.